The island of Puerto Rico hasn't stopped trembling since late December when recent earthquakes began. The strongest hit a little more than a week ago. But is this frequency of quakes normal and is there an end in sight? Vanessa Murdoch went looking for answers. Homes crumbled, others cracked. Those standing unscathed feel as unsafe as the rest. That's why so many Puerto Ricans choose to sleep outside. I try to call my, my kids. But it's very difficult. Since the end of December, the southwest corner of the island has been rattled by more than 2,000 earthquakes. And this is the fault that it occurred on. There was not much of a hint prior to this that anything like this would happen. We met up with James Davis, a research professor at Columbia's Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory, to learn more about what's happening. I don't think we understand yet why that has happened. It is a little unusual. Davis says it's not so much about the number of quakes, it's the strength of them. Here we're having uh, moderate to large size earthquakes fairly frequently. It's near where people live, and that's unusual. I'd say it's uncommon for that kind of sequence to occur. Uncommon anywhere or just in Puerto Rico? I would say it's uncommon across the earth. He adds the terms unusual or uncommon don't mean, uh-oh, what's going to happen next? In fact, we can't be certain what will. The United States Geological Survey, or USGS, does put out an aftershock forecast. They use percentages to represent how likely different scenarios are to occur. In the next week, there's a 3% chance another magnitude 6.4 or greater will shock the island. Within 30 days, there's a 79% chance aftershocks will become less frequent and less intense than a 6.4. That is the most likely scenario. The USGS says it is unlikely earthquakes will stop within the next month on the island. And just a little bit more in the way of data for you. Yeah. Ten of these earthquakes have been five or greater, which wow. means felt significantly by many on the island. And of over 300, or at least a three, which means they can be felt. And then there are several more that are weaker than that that can't necessarily be felt but are measured by the USGS. So that's and why that number is so great. When we hear 5.0 or greater, I mean, those are major earthquakes, right? Yeah. Right? They're significant, significant because of their proximity. So what's happening with these earthquakes is they're very shallow, the center of them. So that is why they're being felt so I widespread see. on the island. Interesting. Yes. Wow. It's a devastating time it, for people down there. It absolutely is. And again, these will likely continue for quite some time today, several more.